after a serious flood, a number of paths to a, to certain vista points cannot be traversed. So this, these are points, vista points, and point C and point I cannot be traversed or cannot be reached. See the diagram below, and these are the times that takes from vista A to vista B, vista B to F, and so on. So these are in minutes. The head gardener decides to visit each remaining vista points she can reach so that uh, they can be inspected. She wants to complete the task in the minimum possible time. So that's her. She wants to finish the minimum possible time and only go to each vista point once. She wants to go to each of this point once. She plans to start at point A. So this is your starting point. And she wants to come back to A. So here yeah, the problem is you want to start at A and you want to visit each of the points and come back to A and that should be a minimum time. Okay, so first try one path and then I'll show you the logic uh, why a, you can find a better path. So let's go from A to A to B. So you can go from A to B. Okay, I'll write the numbers beneath it. So A to B is 7. So I'll write 7 underneath it. Then I'll go from B to C and B to C will take, sorry, B to F, B to F, not because C cannot be traversed, it's B to F, so put F there, and how much time does it take? Well, that is 15, so write the number 15 on top. Then you can go, go from F to H, okay, well, F to H will take 18 minutes, and H to you can go to H to E, so let's go from H to E, it's randomly, without any logic here. H to E will take 20 minutes. Okay. Now from E, you have you cannot go back to A, because if you go back to A, you haven't visited G and D. So you have to go back to G, and G would take from, that is 15 minutes. And of course from G, you have to go back to D. And that is how many minutes that I forgot that is 14 minutes so it is 14 minutes and of course from D you have to come back to A which is how many minutes that is 12 minutes so add the numbers up if we add the numbers up so what I've done is I've added 5 15 plus 7 is 22 20 plus 18 is 38 14 plus 15 is 29 and 12. And if you add them up, this is 101. So now the problem is, can we find a better way to go to all the points and reduce the time? So you can pause this video and try to figure out the next possible way. Hopefully you've done it. So I will start from A to E. Okay, so let's start because here the logic is in the shortest point to reach to the next point we can go from a to b or a to e so a better way i think can be a to e so i'll write a to e okay a to e it will take how many minutes six minutes okay so now you can go basically if you go backwards like this it'll take the same time so now we can go from e we'll stop and think what you can go from e to g and G to H. There are two options. You can go this way. This is one option. Uh, of course, diff different options. You can go from G to F. But let's think about two options from E to H. From E to H, uh, you can go, if if you want to traverse two point two nodes, you can directly you can go from E to G and G to H. Or you can also go from E to H and H to G. So which is a better option? Well, if you go, if you add these numbers, 15 plus 12 is 27, and 20 plus 12 is 32. So if you want to, uh, a better option is going from E to G and G to H. So I'll go right E to G and G to H. So E to G is 15, and G to H is 12. And from 
h obviously you have to go to f so there is no other way you have to go to f that is going to take 18 okay now from f you have got you can go from f you can go you can go from f to d and d to b or you can go from f to b and b to d so let's add these two numbers so 13 plus 18 is 13 plus 8 is 21 and 15 plus 8 is 23 so it is better to go from f to d and d to b so if you want to get merit or better grades you let explain this in words why you took this path so from f so f is a crucial so e so i'll circle e so that i know how to explain e and why i took a separate path from f so from f i'm going to go to d and then b so i'm going to write d and then b so f to d is i'll say it again if i had gone f to b and then to d it would have taken 23 minutes but if you go this way it's taking 21 minutes okay so f to d you have to be careful you don't write the wrong number so that is 13 and d to b is 8 and of course from b you have to come back to a that is 7 add the numbers okay now what i've done is i've added 15 and 6 15 plus 6 is 21 18 plus 12 is 30 13 plus 8 is 21 and then you go to 7 and you add them it is 79 minutes so there are other possible ways in which you can find uh, but the lowest would be 79 minutes so you can say the it is 79 minutes is the shortest time that you can go from a to start at a and come back to a and so that this is the minimum time you can other side try other option but now none of the option would be less than 79 so to get to exp you have to explain why from e you went to g and then h not from h to g in the same way you have to explain why from f you could have gone to b and then d i choose d and then b